Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to resolve this issue. Uh, operating system not found. In this case, this is a problem that is caused when the computer doesn't see the hard drive. So what you're going to do, uh, this is a common problem that happens on uh, different computers to show no bootable device found. So right now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to power off the computer. Then I'm going to go to the boot menu. I see whether we can see our USB. So I'm powering it on. To go to the boot menu on the Sony uh, via your laptops, you will have to click escape. So as you can see here, we don't have anything to do with the hard drive. It is not shown anywhere. So you can also go here to go to the setup. So in my case here, I'm going to restart. Uh, I'm going to just switch off the computer by long pressing it, but you can also click Control Alt Delete to restart it. So I'm going to power it on again, then I'll go ahead and click F2 to go to the BIOS system on this computer. So when we go to the BIOS system, uh, this is what we get. I'll be using the arrows to navigate. You have to go to boot by clicking the right arrow key. So when you go to boot, you find there that we have different types of boot priorities. We have the one that is the boots which are excluded, bootable devices which are excluded from that drive. So we happen to have our hard disk. I think someone tampered with it and then they put it here. And this is the cause that, that brings the error that we see. So here they are saying that X will exclude it and also bring it back. So I'm going to go ahead and click down below. Then I will go and click X and then to bring it back to seven. So to bring it up to the first one so that our hard disk is the first bootable device that is booted. So I'm going to go ahead and click space. Space is this bar. So space will bring it up. And then you have it there. You, the next thing we are good to go is to click F10 to save changes. And when you save changes, the computer will restart. And when the computer restarts, it will normally go to its normal bootable, uh, normal boot. As you can see now, the Windows is loading. And this was just a quick video on how to enable uh, your hard drive in case it's not seen and how to solve no bootable device phone, no operating system phone. In some cases, that error may come if you don't have a hard drive in your computer. So you have to cross check on that also. So this computer will boot back to its normal state and you have your laptop back and working. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload useful videos like this. Have a nice time. Goodbye.